The old Traverse City State Hospital was established in 1885. By 1989, successful drug therapies, changes in mental health care philosophy, decline of institutionalization, and funding cuts forced the hospital to close its doors. In 2000, the Minervini Group started renovating the historic buildings into what is now known as the Village at Grand Traverse Commons. The floor of the commons is the only thing separating workers and visitors from stepping 127 years back into history. Raymond Minervini of the Minervini Group gave me a sneak peek into some of the tunnels and what they were used for. It had a multi-purpose function, this tunnel. And so it was one of the first things built, as you would imagine, on this campus because it's underground and below everything else. So you can see the limestone foundation here. When they were first constructed over a century ago, underground tunnels connected every building on the hospital campus. Anyway, that right there is a, is a tunnel access point um, that people can see it from Mana. The longest tunnel on campus runs under this street into the power plant straight ahead. This tunnel connected these buildings to the building behind the bocce ball courts. You can see this dry patch, this, yeah. there's, there's another abandoned tunnel below here. The top of this tunnel lies on the front of campus. Staff could walk from this building through the basement, or through the tunnel and through the basement, through that building, all the way to the other receiving buildings and administration buildings that way. One of the buildings that has yet to be renovated still holds remnants of an old passenger tunnel used by hospital staff to navigate through the buildings. All these cottages and then the numbers of the wards. Right? And that, so this was to help the staff get around. It was for really for staff because there was a huge turnover of staff here. There was lots and lots of people coming, you know, working on uh, nursing rotations or medical mm -hmm. rotations and so um, not everybody was here for long enough to fully learn every single hallway. Minervini said the tunnels were filled with steam and water pipes and electrical conduits that carried heat, hot water, and electricity throughout all the buildings. Like every 10 feet there was a, you know, these brackets that held up all these pipes. And you can still see some of the anchor points along here. Some tunnels were also used as air shafts to transport fresh air throughout the hospital. The spires on top were actually ventilation chimneys and so that uh, hot air would exhaust through those spires to uh, cool the building. Nowadays, some of the tunnels are used to run data cables and hold fire suppression pumps. You know, who knows, we might do a cheese aging down here, there might be champagne aging in the future. Uh, it's hard to say, you know, but it's, it's kind of cool because this is literally the way the Romans used to build tunnels with the, the brick archway and the rounded bottom. Still here, you know, 127 years later. There's some neat little, uh, you know, stories to tell throughout the campus, and these, this old tunnel system is one of them. 